So I heard you wanted to grow your Discord server. Well, in today's video, I'll show you how to do so, and I'll talk about a tip that can potentially get you hundreds, if not thousands of members, and that no one else is talking about, right after the intro. Yo, what is up guys, Foxy HD here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My channel is all about tech tips and gaming videos, so if you're interested in any of those topics, consider dropping a sub. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord to ask any questions that you have or just to hang out with some awesome people. I'll be doing a few uh, Nitro giveaways throughout the month and you don't want to miss them. The link to join will be in the description below. Alright, without further ado, let's just dive into the video. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a compelling and attractive Discord server because you don't want people to join and leave 5 minutes later because they didn't have anything to do. At bots, at game chats, at voice chats. If your server only has one channel in 2020, you really have to rethink your life. Let's take a look at my server for example. Alright, I have a channel set up where uh, members can react to the roles that they want to get. For example, they want to they play Fortnite, they want to get a Fortnite role. Just click on the Fortnite. I'm, I'm using uh, reaction roles. It's called reaction roles, it's a bot. While they click on Fortnite, they'll unlock the Fortnite channel and they can chat about Fortnite stuff. And this is great because some people might like Fortnite, but might not like Minecraft or whatever. So by having this, you have separated, dedicated chats for each game. But if we come down here to bot chat, we have uh, a bunch of bots that uh, people can use. We got Me6, Aki, Dino, Dank Memer, Ali, and I'll be adding more bots. But this is great because it keeps your community active. Uh, they have stuff to do. The please. The, sorry, the Dank Memer is a great bot. It has so many commands and it has so many things you can do. So if you haven't added bots on your server, make sure you do that. Here's my personal list of the bots that you should consider having on your Discord server in 2020. Not all of these bots are for fun. Some of them are for moderation. So you can pick and choose which ones you need. Um, just Google search them. They'll take you right into the link and you can invite the bot into the Discord. Now that you have a complete server, let's get members to join it. I'm going to be listing free and paid ways to get people to join your server. I'll also talk about some things that you should try to avoid. The all-time easiest way to get people to join your server is just by adding advertisement bots such as Discord, TopGG, and Discord.me. Just go to the bots website, which I'll have listed on the, my Discord server you guys need it. Create a listing for your server and then invite the bot to your server. Every two hours or so, you can run a specific command which is normally called bump, that will place your server listing on the top of the bot's website. This method is great because it's simple and easy. You won't get hundreds of people to join daily, but you will definitely get a few. Just make sure to sign up to all the pages available to maximize your potential of getting people to join. Again, I'll have all the links of the, for the bots on my Discord server on the channel called YouTube Resources. Another great way to get more members to join is by partnering up with a server that is the same size as you. You promote their server and they promote yours. When doing this, make sure you have a good server description. For mine, I have a small intro, then a few highlights of the server, and at the bottom, I have the Discord link. Make sure you set it so it never expires, and a simple gift that I created in After Effects to grab people's attention. I'll be leaving a template on my Discord server similar to it, so you can just copy and edit it for your own server. Just make sure you don't make the description an essay because then no one will actually read it. Now, before we move to the paid options and the last insane tip, let's talk about something you should avoid, which are Discord self-promotion only servers. This place might look like a great idea to promote your server, but since everybody in them is trying to promote their own server, there's actually no one left to join the promoted servers. I'm not saying that it's like this for all the self-promotion servers out there, but most of them are. I would recommend you spending time trying to grow your server other ways instead of just using those servers. Now for tip number 5, let's talk about a paid option to grow your server. Fiverr always has some gigs that offer to promote your server. I've actually tried a few of them on my alt account that I have, and they're not horrible. You just gotta make sure you choose a good seller with good reviews. You don't want bot accounts joining the server. Also make sure the people who join are going to be active. This gift can vary anywhere from $5 to $80. Just don't spend all your money on them. 
Normally, what these sellers do is they go to large Facebook groups focused on one topic and they advertise your server there. For example, if I had a server about cameras, they would join a Facebook group about cameras and advertise my server in there. Another paid option is by buying server ads from large servers. Basically, what you do is you pay the owner of the server an amount of money and in return, they will do an announcement promoting your server on the Discord. They might even throw in a giveaway so more people join. I see a lot of people doing this on servers about the Dank Memer bot. If you're planning on doing this, I would recommend choosing a server that has similar topics as yours. So this is an example if I were to be buying a server ad. I'm in a server called Dank Daily. It's a very popular Dank Memer Discord. And they offer the promos, they call it promos. But basically, you get a bunch of options. So you can choose the length, you can choose who do you want to ping. Of course, pinging at everyone, it's the best one because it's going to notify the entire server. But of course, it's going to be more costly than the other ones. It also gives you even the uh, option to put your Discord link, your invite link on their uh, join messages. And it, of course, provides you uh, with a giveaway so many people join. Just again, make sure you're choosing a good server that has the same topics as you. You don't want to advertise your gaming server on a beauty Discord server. So again, choose the correct Discord. The moment that everybody has been waiting for, the insane tip. I left the best for last. The tip is actually very simple. Create content around your Discord server. Live streams, videos, I don't care what it is. Just highlight your server. Uh, YouTubers like Call Me Carson or Quackity have huge and active Discord servers because they make videos about their servers. These videos include uh, Discord Got Talent, Photoshop face-offs, or even reading your band appeals. The viewers who watch the videos want to be a part of them, so they will join the server. The more you focus on integrating Discord into your content, the more people will join your server. So as I mentioned before, Call Me Carson, a huge streamer and YouTuber, makes a bunch of videos that involve his Discord server and his community. Uh, just let's take a, uh, as an example, let's take a Rick the Discord Spelling Bee. I got about a 17 million views. Of course, I'm not going to say right now that you're going to get a 17 million views on a video that's insane. But any viewer that watches your content, if they are interested on the content, if they find the content funny, if they find the content interesting, they're going to automatically want to join your server because they want to spend time with you and your community. This is what happened with Carson. Uh, he's a absolutely insane example 17 million views and his server is one of the servers with most people on discord i believe it's top 10. if you do this you will see growth on your discord just a matter of how good your content is and if you can show how cool or how good your community is on discord to get the viewer from youtube to join your discord server if you don't want to post videos like that you can use games on your live streams to get people to join your server among Us is a hot game right now and it's a great example since it's more fun when you can use voice chat during the meetings. While playing the game you can encourage your viewers to join the Discord to have a better time. If you guys did enjoy this video smash that like button and lightly click on the subscribe button to see what happens. Again make sure to join the Discord server if you have any questions or just want to join a wholesome community. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.